Hey guys and welcome back to the wonderful world of The Sims 4 where today I am doing a uh, base game starter home and base game uh, this that'll include the new toddler update so I thought that'd be really cool to do since we got the new toddler items and I hadn't really played around with them a whole lot so I thought I would do a base game build this is my first base game build and I intend on doing more in the future uh, just because I know you know some people own the game and aren't able to uh, buy all the packs and it's really tempting when you own all the packs to always build with you know every single pack every time um, but I don't want to do that I kind of want to challenge myself so I'm gonna try to do uh, some more base game builds or base game and one other pack builds um, I'm thinking I may do an apartment build that's base game and only city living so um, I may do that as well, uh, especially with this new toddler pack. Like I said, I haven't really got to play around with it too much, so I really wanted to utilize it in a build and uh, experiment and see what all new stuff there are. Uh, I mean, I have played around with it as far as like uh, gameplay, and I do have that gameplay video up already here on the channel, so you can feel free to check that out. It's just a short uh, kind of video to show, you know, what... Uh, you can do with uh, all the new interactions between the toddlers and adult sims. Uh, you know, just a cutesy little thing like that. <laughs> Nothing too special. Um, I may go in and uh, make, you know, I I've been thinking about doing some kind of a, a let's play, just let's play with toddlers. Uh, you know, just something short that will last maybe, uh, maybe a month or two um, until my big let's play comes out, which will be hopefully sooner rather than later um, anyway though you know these new packs keep coming out and I'm like oh I just want to I just want to keep adding stuff to the let's play so uh we'll see um I thought about waiting until the vampire stuff came out so that I could add vampires to the let's play but I don't know if I'm going to do that I kind of uh don't want to ruin the dynamic I've got going in the uh let's play so far so in saying that I do need to finish crimson peak before the vampire stuff comes out because I know I will want to use the crimson or the uh vampire stuff for Crimson Peak, or Crimson Manor, actually. <laughs> um, so I, I need to do that. Anyway, though, I was struggling a little bit trying to figure out the, uh, what I wanted the exterior of this home to look like, and I did use, uh, a lot of, uh, inspiration from, like, 70s type homes. Uh, I don't know what exactly that would be called, just, uh, homes that were built in the 70s. <laughs> um, I did use that as inspiration for the exterior of the build. Um, uh, I decided instead of using those oranges and reds and greens, which I really, for some reason, wanted to use at first, I would just go with this uh, white, you know, and uh, that orange door really is enough of, a, of color. And then I added this little, uh, I don't know, would that be a pergola? Uh, whatever that is. <laughs> On top of the roof there uh, in the back, just for a little bit more detail. Uh, I did start to run out of money towards the end, so I wanted I was uh, scrounging kind of to try to make do. Um, the child's room is gonna be really really purple, and you will see that at the end of uh, there's always a motorcycle that drives by whenever I'm recording. I swear, never fails. Anyway though, you will see if you download this home off the gallery that it's gonna be a little bit different than uh, what you see here in the build, and that's because I realized when I went in to kind of test and make sure that everything worked okay that uh, some of the items that toddlers need were not included when I built the house. I didn't realize that toddlers needed a bath, like an actual bath, which, I mean, that, that was pretty dumb. I don't know why, I just did not think of that. But I had to make the bathroom just a little bit bigger uh, on the back end of the home. Uh, it should still be starter game, uh, like you should be able to afford it. Uh, so that shouldn't have affected it any by me just uh, lengthening the bathroom just a little bit, just enough to add a uh, bathtub. And uh, I also added a desk and a computer in the master bedroom in the back there because I did go in and uh, move in a sim and then have him adopt a child, so uh, just a toddler, uh, so I could test out the toddler items. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit different when you download uh, this off the gallery. Um, not too much though, just like I said, just a few items, uh, just those few like I said, and uh, I think... I think in the screenshots, the computer desk will be already placed in the master bedroom where I removed the dressers that were in there. So I removed those and then I added in just the desk. I don't I don't know why it took me a minute to pause right there. <laughs> anyway, though, um, so this layout of this bathroom is going to be a little bit different when you download it off the gallery. But everything should be usable. Everything should still be base game only. Uh, I, I don't think that I used any items. I, I tried to be careful of using any items that were not base game. 
because it's very difficult sometimes whenever you use the little copier tool up in the very top of the uh, of the screen there um, for some reason it takes off your filters so sometimes when you do that and you just copy like a light or something and place it somewhere else then your filters are taken off and then you get all messed up and confused <laughs> anyway though we are now in the screenshots um, so this build was pretty quick I mean it was just a base game and I tried to keep it under I think it's like twenty three thousand dollars or something like that I don't know but anyway, small little dining area, small little kitchen, small little living room. Everything's pretty tight and cramped. But, uh, you know, an adult sim and a toddler can live here. Uh, no problem, pretty much. Uh, maybe even two adult sims and a toddler or uh, as the child gets older, you know, whatever. But anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Be sure to check out uh, all the rest of my videos on my channel. I do lots of builds, uh, lots of speed builds and lots of room builds and everything. And if you have any suggestions, uh, please leave them down below. I don't mind taking them. Uh, and thank you guys so much once again, and I'll talk to you guys soon.